It is snowing like crazy. What is going on guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Oof, my god, it's so cold. Ooh, man, it is cold as hell. It is currently 25 degrees outside and we are expecting a crazy, crazy snowstorm that is going to last three days. Yep, you heard me right. Three days. Holy shit, it's gonna be snowing like a motherfucker. Yeah, I have no idea why I'm going out, but I am. Um, I'm actually just gonna go get something for the computer, hopefully if this place is open. But um, yeah, while I'm on my way over there, I just wanna talk about like five things I absolutely hate about air suspension. All right, well, let me smack the GoPro on my head and let me get on the road, so give me one second. Okay, so to be 100% honest with you guys, I have no idea how this camera angle is going to look. I have no idea if you guys will even be able to see anything because it is pretty dark out. Okay, so in this video we are going to be talking about five things I absolutely hate about the air suspension system. Starting off with number one is going to be the complexity of the maintenance. You gotta keep on track with all the maintenance with your airlift or whatever system that you have for air suspension because if you don't you're gonna have issues and they will be pretty bad. Like I know some people that live around my area they have plenty of horror stories with air suspension about lines freezing lines bursting about blowing bags about having a bunch of malfunctions water in their systems you just gotta keep on track of maintenance i've heard a bunch of good stories and i've heard a bunch of bad stories about the airlift system uh in my personal experience i only had like two one minor one major issue with my airlift system as I spoke about in the previous video, my compressor went and I wasn't able to drive my car for a couple of days, which is fine. I had my girlfriend's car, she let me use it, so I was okay in that aspect. But to many of you that uh, don't have that option of having like a secondary car, first of all, if you have air, air suspension system, you need to have like another car, at least a backup, because whether you like it or not, shit's gonna hit the fan every once in a while. That's just how it goes. It, it, it's it, like you're modifying your car, it's just gonna hit the fan every once in a while. So I would suggest at least getting like a thousand dollar car just so you have a backup. Now, this is definitely gonna be like first world problems about complaining about all like the, oh my God, air suspension and all that stuff. But I absolutely love it. I'm trying to be as non-biased as possible because I love the air suspension system. It's great, it's fantastic, I love it. But, you know, not only are you gonna have to keep on top of the maintenance with your car, you're gonna have to keep on top of maintenance with your air ride system. And that in itself is not a lot of work, but it's a lot more work that you have to do. So you're gonna have to inspect the system, you're gonna have to check your lines, you're gonna have to check the electronics, you're gonna have to make sure that nothing is pinched or nothing is getting broken or like rubbing on anything because it, if it's rubbing, you might as well fix it then rather than later before you find out and then you're stranded somewhere so that is something that you're gonna have to keep on top of another thing is is that you're gonna have to empty your tank at least once a week especially especially if you live in high humidity areas and you live in the in the northeast where i am and as you can see it is fucking snowing like a motherfucker and it's not gonna stop until Tuesday or by the time that you guys are watching this video it, the snow probably would have been past like a week or, or a week or so but uh yeah it's a crazy ass storm um uh, it started today which was Sunday and it didn't stop until Tuesday so it's it's a lot of it's a, it's a giant fucking mess Anyway, basically you're gonna want to make sure that you empty your tank, you're gonna want to do like this, you're gonna want to do that, you're gonna want to make sure that everything is okay with the system, you don't want to risk anything at all when it comes to like your airlift system because especially if it's your daily driver, you want to make sure everything is okay, you want to make sure everything is nice, you want to make sure that you know you empty your tank every now and then and make sure that you know you don't have any water in the system because water in the system creates problems okay so reason number two is 
the air suspension system is not cheap it is stupid expensive all right so i'm actually here so i'll be right back and yeah yeah i'll continue all this when i get back okay so the reason why i had to stop is because i want to go get a gaming headset so that way i can you know be able to game with the new computer that i got um i'll leave a link up there but uh where did i leave off oh yeah okay so reason number two okay so yeah the airlift system is or any air suspension system at all is ridiculously expensive you're looking at at least around two thousand dollars that's with the struts that's with the tank the management whichever one that you are going with the air suspension system is ridiculously expensive so that is something that you're going to need to take into account whenever you plan on purchasing an air suspension system you are going to be putting in a lot of money now on the bright side is that it is starting to become cheaper to obtain the air suspension system but still you are going to be spending a pretty penny getting the air, air suspension system so it is something to keep in mind number three is going to be the installation the installation itself is going to take a lot of time now you can get it done in a day if you actually you know like know what you're doing know exactly how you have it planned and how you want everything to be set up but still it is going to take a lot of time you are going to have to take a take your car apart swapping the struts and connecting everything is simple the hardest part is running all the wires running all the lines and running everything because not only do you have to take into consideration is that you if you want to run inside in a manual car you're gonna have to start drilling holes if you want to run it on the outside you don't have to drill holes but you are gonna be you know risking your lines freezing and stuff like that the air suspension system there it's pretty complicated with the install there's a lot of things you got to take into account of whenever you are installing the system how you're gonna have it ran if you're gonna have it protected if you're just leaving it dangling and stuff like that it, it becomes a little bit complicated like for me I my car is an automatic unfortunately but I do have it ran out to where the clutch would have been right under the uh, steering wheel and then I also have it coming out through the firewall on the passenger side and a little hole that I know that was there so everything is okay there I have it running around the blower motor and all that stuff so I know that that way it's not gonna get pinched I know I kind of like knew exactly what I was gonna do I do know that a buddy of mine has a manual CC and he had his going out through the passenger side he ran it all on the inside ran both lines for the driver and the passenger side on the front out through the uh, inside of his car on the passenger side so yeah it is possible you just have to do a lot of planning it's it's definitely a lot of work and a lot of things that you need to take into consideration whenever you are installing an air suspension system onto your car number four is going to be the problems that are going to come with it now i have had two problems one minor and one that made me not able to drive my car and then i also know that a friend of mine had one of her lines her leader lines blow on her car and she wasn't able to drive until airlift sends her a new one one thing that does suck about the airlift system or air suspension system in general is that if something goes wrong your car will not be drivable depending on how it went wrong and where did it go wrong so like for my instance my compressor went there was a short in the system and it kept blowing my 30 amp fuse so that part made my car undrivable reason being is because that whenever the con compressor would kick on it would just blow the fuse i'm not able to air the car up i'm not able to air the car down the whole system will not work without that 30 amp fuse because that is the main fuse that goes from the battery out into the manifold and the system so with that compressor blowing i was not able to move my car because i aired my car down and 
Yeah. Self-explanatory, no compressor, I can't air the car up. So that part did suck and it did suck a lot. I didn't have my car for almost a week until uh, I managed to get the compressor uh, replaced on the warranty. It was de it was definitely something that uh, was unfortunate. The other issue that I had was that my controller wasn't reading the pressure properly on one of the bags. It only happened one time. It said that it was detecting like a slow leak, but, but there wasn't any leak at all. I checked the system, I shut the car off, and then turned the car back on, the controller kicked on, and that's it. That was the only time I ever had that issue. Uh, other than that, I've heard plenty of horror stories where people are trying to air their car up, and boom, the line goes, and stuff like that. It There is a lot more things that go into air suspension rather than, you know, just like coilovers, you just smack them on and the worst thing that you have to worry about is blowing a strut. With the air system, not only are you worried about blowing a strut, you're worried about blowing a bag, blowing a line, blowing a leader line, and then uh, if your compressor goes, if your manifold goes, there's a lot more things that, you know, you gotta take into consideration whenever you're doing the airlift system because there's so much more that goes into it. Not only is it dummy expensive, just for the system, that's not even taken into account that you have to modify your trunk to fit everything in there. It, there's a lot of things that go into it. So it's definitely, I love the air suspension system, but you definitely have to be wary of what, of what, of how much goes into the airlift system. Okay, and then last but not least, number five, it is going to be that it's not that comfortable the air suspension system honestly yes it is comfortable but it's not that comfortable it it is definitely much more comfortable than you know OEM suspension because you are dealing with you know adjustable dampening rebound and you're dealing with adjustable adjustable ride height as well but it is not that comfortable reason being is because everything is fucking bouncy as shit like yes there are plenty of things you can do to prevent it from being bouncy but it's 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 bouncy it's it's bouncy as hell air suspension is gonna be bouncy it's air like i don't know what you really expect honestly like it's just it, your your spring is literally in a bag full of air so it, everything's gonna be bouncy that's that's really about it. It's honestly something that you're gonna have to get used to, the bounce. Like, honestly, I love the bounce, but I know a lot of people are not gonna like the bounce. The bounce is definitely what deters people from going into air suspension. Not only that, just the, just the whole concept of like dealing with all this maintenance stuff, it will definitely deter people from, from doing air suspension. Now, I don't have anything really bad to say about air suspension. I'm just like nitpicking at this point because I love everything about the airlift system. Like, I, I love everything. So, honestly, I don't really have anything bad to say about the air suspension system because I, I love it. Like, I have always seen so many people on bags and I, was, and I just wanted to be on bags as well. So... So I absolutely love being on bags. Being being on bags is like super fun and I, I just love it. Like honestly, I'm not, I'm just nitpicking at things that, you know, I had to get used to. But honestly, I, I love the entire air suspension system like and I don't want to go back. Eventually, I'm going to have a car that's on coils because, you know, I, I love coilovers. Coilovers. coilovers are one of the things that you know your car is permanently low and it's just super fun being super super fucking low for no reason at all but at the same time just being able to drive super low park your car and then air it out even lower is honestly super awesome in my opinion like i love it so that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm, I'm sorry i'm not doing anything exciting with the snow if you guys haven't seen the previous video or the previous videos i ended up getting new tires because uh what you would call it uh the falcons that were on here they were 
they were done and uh, these Continental DWS 06s do not let me slide so not only that this is all wheel drive and shit like that so I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe press the notification bell if you want to hear more from me and I'll see you in the next video yeah. peace I got my own problems, I don't want your drama I'm chasing the commas and breaking the sweat I'm tired of people that's using my energy Showing fake love if you breaking my name Don't care about music, don't care about shit You just hopped in the game and now you wanna check I'm